I'm Thomas Myrick. This is my wife, Ashley Myrick. We're here today to dedicate our daughter, Scarlett Myrick, to the Lord. Being pregnant in 2020 was definitely very interesting because two weeks before Scarlett was born, I had got the coronavirus. But the day before we got admitted into the hospital, I went to go get tested and the test came out negative. And she came out to be nine pounds and seven ounces. So my birthday is January 11th and we got admitted in the hospital and we had Scarlett on the 12th. And it was pretty neat to me because my dad's birthday was the 10th. So we're all right there together. Man, what a blessing it was whenever I seen my baby girl for the first time. And she's brought nothing but joy to us and our lives. And we thank God every day for her. Scarlett gets her name from a movie. Uh, Gone with the Wind, and two of the name, main characters uh, were myself, Ashley Wilkes, and my aunt, or her aunt, uh, Melanie Wilkes, my sister. So another character on Gone with the Wind was named Scarlett. So we decided to name our sweet little girl Scarlett, and she gets her middle name Elizabeth from her great-grandmother, Elizabeth Albritton Wilkes. Scarlett is five and a half months old. She is a little chunky girl. She uh, laughs and loves to play on the floor. Scarlett is um, starting to try to crawl. So we, she loves her tummy time, and like I said, she loves her toys. So we're here today to dedicate Scarlett to the Lord because we know that she's a gift from God, and we would like to give her back to Him. Um, our first priority is for Scarlett to be uh, well-grounded in her Christian faith and be devoted to God. The one thing our church family can pray for her is guidance as parents, to help raise a Christian, strong Christian girl. And also I travel a lot with my work in this crazy world and just pray for Ashley and Scarlett's safety and well-being while I'm gone away from home. Uh, Thomas and I have this prayer that we would like to give Scarlett. We hope that she grows to love Jesus and she will use the phrase, what would Jesus do in making her decisions? And also depend on the Holy Spirit to watch over and bless her.